Hello everyone, my name is Reese Stevenson and I am a CBBC presenter and proud ambassador of the children's mental health charity Place to Be, who have teamed up with BAFTA Kids and Oak National Academy to create the 2021 school's time capsule. And I'm so excited that you and your class are taking part. Now, this has been a bit of a strange year for many of us, but especially you with home learning and many of you not being able to see your friends and family. So this is a chance for you and your classmates to look back and reflect on the past school year and what it's been like for you. One of the ways that you can reflect on the past school year is through writing. So before you get started, here are some top tips from some writing experts. Hello, I'm Lem Sisse and I'm a writer and I like to express myself by writing. The past 12 months, I've felt like um, sometimes like a hedgehog, slightly prickly, hibernating beneath a hedge, all rolled up. On other times, I felt like a peregrine falcon perched on a cliff, watching the sea crashing below me. So my top tips for your writing reflections are, number one, what animal have you felt like? Describe yourself as an animal in lockdown. Decide which animal, where is it? What's it doing? Why is it there? What sound is it making? What is it hearing? What is it thinking? Number two, dear me. I love this one. Write yourself a letter to yourself a year ago and tell yourself what's going to happen with this pandemic and the world and give yourself some advice for how best to get through it. Tip number three, I remember. So this is a list. Write the words, I remember, and then write something that you remember from the last year. Uh, and when you stop, uh, go to the next line and write, I remember again, and write something else that you remember from the last year. It doesn't matter how sad or happy it is, it's all about the detail, you see. Keep going and keep going until you fill the whole page and you'll be surprised by how much you can write. I remember skating up and down the pathway to the garden gate. I remember the last time I saw my granddad. You see, and then you go back to the next one and you say, I remember, think of things you remember and write it down. Those are my top three tips for you. Hello, I'm David Williams and I do lots of different things. I act, I do comedy, but the thing that gives me the most pleasure is writing children's books. Now, over the last year, it's been an isolating time for lots of us. Lots of us have felt quite alone. The fortunate thing for me is that as a writer, especially of books, being alone is actually a good thing. You want to be left alone with your imagination when you're writing a book. So I've tried to use the time as positively as I possibly can. Um, and, and the reason I really like writing books is it, it's just such a wonderful way to express yourself. So it's something you really care about, something you want to communicate to others. What better way than to write it down? So I've got some top tips for you budding writers out there. The first one I'd say is be as original as you possibly can. So that's not to say you can't be inspired by a story you've read or a film you've seen or something someone's told you. You can certainly be inspired by those things, but just try and be as original as you possibly can and try not to make your story like someone else's story because then it will really stand out. The next thing I'd say, as a writer, you really have to keep your eyes and ears open at all times because you never know when a good idea might come along. So you might be sitting on the bus and you might overhear a conversation and think, wow, that would be a great starting point for a story. So make sure you've always kind of got your writer's hat on and you're always thinking, would that make a good story? Would that make a good character? Would that be a funny line? Um, so ideas are sort of floating around everywhere and, and writers are the ones that can pluck them out of the air. And the last thing I'd say, which is a bit of advice for you, is have a think about the shape of your story before you start writing it. It doesn't mean you have to plan the whole thing out in huge detail, but, oh dear, Ernie's not enjoying this, he's finding it a bit boring, but um, have a sense of the shape of the story because sometimes kids say to me, oh, I was writing a, a story and uh, I just didn't know how to finish it. Well, if you've got an idea how to finish it, 
um, then you'll have the shape there. Doesn't mean, you know, you might have a better idea as you go along. You might think, actually, I can get rid of that ending. I've got a better idea, but uh, I'm gonna put them down. But so just have a shape of a story before you start. And I think that'll help you because you'll know where you're heading. So they are my top tips for writing. Good luck, everyone. My name's Amy and I'm an English teacher, which means it's probably not a huge surprise to hear that I think writing is one of the best ways you can express yourself and express your feelings. Some of the best work that I've seen over the years from pupils has been from young people that sometimes find it quite hard to express themselves in other ways and have found a love of words and writing that really allows them to do that. So I've got some top tips for you today to help you if you want to improve your writing. Now, tip number one, if you want to be a better writer, you need to read more. I know the two don't feel like they should come together, but honestly, the more you read, the more you will understand uh, what people like to read. You'll understand how sentences flow together. You'll understand what's enjoyable as a reader so that you can apply that as a writer. So my first top tip is to just read as much and as often as you can. It doesn't always have to be big books. It can be anything. Read reviews, read blogs, read the back of a cereal packet if that's what you're interested in, but read more and your writing will improve. Tip number two is to read whatever you've written out loud. Now, it's no great surprise that the best novels and books in the world get turned into films. It's also not a huge surprise that music and songs sound like poetry. As far as I'm concerned, the written word was meant to be spoken and it was meant to be heard and enjoyed. So whenever you've written something, read it out loud and experience it as a reader. Once you hear it, you'll be able to hear it how other people will when it leaps off the page. So reading it out loud is my second top tip. And my third top tip, doesn't really sound like a top tip, but it is to just write. So many people don't write because they think, I haven't got the perfect idea, or I'm not 100% sure where I'm going with this. I don't think that matters. It's really important to plan your writing, but actually to be a writer, you just need to start. So there are my top tips. Hope they were helpful. Um, get writing and enjoy. What great tips. Thank you to Lem, David and Amy. Well, now it's your turn. Take your time, help each other out. And remember, this isn't about being the best at writing. It's about giving you the chance to express your thoughts and feelings. We can't wait to see what you create. Bye.